Hi there. We're really excited about the new Google Translate. We've seen it bop in and out uh, over the last few days, and now it appears to have arrived and stayed. The new Google Translate is available via the Chrome extension from Google, the Google Translate Chrome extension. So when we click on it now, it looks like this. And there are these features available to us. Um, we have the Translate window where I can type in a word like nutrition and click translate and right now you see I'm getting English and English and I'll show you how to change that in just a second we have the I'll click off it and we'll click back on we have the translate this page option and if you see the school district 21 website here it is currently in English it will default to English until I change the options so we will change it here to um, we'll go ahead with Polish and there it is the school district 21 webpage translated into Polish and then we also have a link right here to get to translate.google.com which we used to separately teach our students to navigate to um, obviously now we also have the ability to throw a bookmark out to all of our students, but we don't need to do that because the link is built right into the extension. And then we have the extension options. And this is pretty cool. So if someone's primary language is something other than English, they can set that right here. And one of the interesting things is Spanish is, everything is, is not necessarily in alphabetical order. You'll see Welsh popping up here. Spanish is written in English as Spanish, and it falls in between Esperanto and Estonian. Um, so kind of near where Espanol would be. Basque is down here. So uh, you, people may have to hunt and peck a little bit to find their, um, their language. But they can change it to their language, to their primary language. And then we are encouraging everybody to leave these settings exactly as is here um, because it gives the user a lot of control um, over what they want to see. And if you click Save, this is going to retain those settings now um, across the browser or across your, your account history. So here we go. We're going to navigate back to there and now when I type in nutrition for example it gives me the English nutrition and the Spanish nutrición and I can click on this and listen to it I have um, a little bit of the definition I can click open in Google Translate and I will see even more of that information here and additional information on the English side and again I can listen to it in either language um, if we go back to the school district 21 website I can now click translate this page and it uh, well it's retaining my Polish settings from before so let's go to Espanol and it'll it'll retain those now and there we go the website in Espanol. Now, of course, Google Translate is a really, really great translator because of how it does translation using the same text across multiple languages and looking for those patterns across the entire web that it has indexed. There's some pretty neat articles out there explaining how Google Translate works. It still is not as proficient as a human translator who is uh, biliterate or literate in multiple languages. So uh, you have to be cautious. It will do its best job translating topics that appear naturally in multiple languages. So, for example, soccer is a topic, um, or football, that will be very well translated around the world because there are articles about the same teams and the same players in so many different languages. And so there's a lot of overlap in the vocabulary, and it can do a very effective job translating it. We're really excited about the updates to the extension and we're glad to share this here too. We hope this allows the world to communicate a little bit more easily with one another.